tuning in to the online broadcast network, AfterBuzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries and your number one source for after show entertainment. Johnson. Johnson. TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Hey everybody and welcome to a brand new Spotlight On. I'm your host, Yael Teagle, and I'm sitting with the woman who I think is used to pulling double duty. We've got <laughs> Laura Spencer in the studio. Hello. Hello, welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, so you not only like to do two things at a time. Yeah, love it. But you are a commercial <laughs> TV uh, online series actress. All at once, all always. At once. Yeah, you're all over the place. <laughs> I, wanna, I wanna start from the beginning. Cool. You're from Oklahoma. I am. Um, how did you get here? Let's talk about that. <laughs> By car. By car. <laughs> um, yeah, I came out here in 2010. So in January, it's going to be my five-year anniversary. Congratulations. Thank you very much. How romantic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just cheers myself. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, we um, drove out from Oklahoma, and uh, my dad came, did another round with... Um, more of my stuff later because he didn't want me driving across country by myself and so it's it's uh it's kind of interesting to think about that being five years ago and just that like what's ahead what lies ahead what is LA going to be like yeah and, yeah what was your first gig my first official Los Angeles gig mm -hmm. or my first your first official Los Angeles gig okay my first official Los Angeles gig was Mad Love, I believe. It was the pilot of Mad Love, which was with Jason Biggs. Mm -hmm. And um, it was, uh, yeah, their first episode of that brand new series. And I got to act with Jason Biggs, and he was super cool to work with. I was really nervous because I had never been on, it was a multicam. I had never been on a multicam uh, set before. And so I, and I think it was like really last minute casting. So they had already done the table read and everyone knew each other. And I just kind of came right into rehearsals, stepped right in, <laughs> met everyone real fast and did my first run through for producers right away. And it was just kind of like, well, here we go. And it's been moving like that ever since. I guess so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I know that you uh, are well known for your commercials you did two commercials at the same time yeah, last year and you were known on reddit as the girl who had her braid there was a whole yeah. little discussion about it with, yeah. it's like the same actress and she's wearing the same hairdo i wonder if she shot it on the same day in different <laughs> studios that were neighboring each other and i'm like no just coincidence it wasn't so coincidence because i had actually worn my hair like that in both auditions ah. i think they just liked it and they had done the little sketches of what the commercial would look like mm -hmm. with that so then so it's you, you chose that? I chose the That's, side braid. You were like a, a hair inspiration, a hair spiration. <laughs> I was a hair spiration. Yeah. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then you've gone to continue your double duty. You are now on both Bones and The Big Bang Theory. Woo yeah. Um, and you're, <laughs> you're recurring on both. Yeah. Um, let's start with The Big Bang Theory. Sure. Okay. You play... Raj's girlfriend. I do. Finally, Raj has like right? a, a legit girlfriend. Who who really loves him, you yeah. know? Like, it seems like they're thrilled with one another constantly, and that's what makes me happy. Like, I love that they're making our relationship so sweet. Who knows what the next script will say. Maybe yeah. I, you know. Stab him. Stab him. Is what I believe. Because I'm so dark. Yeah. Maybe I murder Raj. <laughs> well, so I read that, <laughs> that you dark. came in, and, and at first Emily was this <laughs> sweetheart, and you weren't sure. Yeah. And that eventually, as more scripts came in, you found out that she is, she's creepy. Oh, I love it. Every yeah. time they threw in something. Because at first, the, the first line I said was totally like, I don't even know if they had it that I was going to be creepy. I think, I don't know if it was from the way I delivered it. I don't, I'm not sure. I don't know if they saw an opportunity there or if they've had it in their heads all mm -hmm. along. My guess is they've had it in their heads all along because they're genius writers. Yeah. But I had no clue. So when I said my first fairly creepy line about cutting people with knives mm -hmm. and it being legal, I... I didn't think I was serious. <laughs> okay. 
So but, there isn't like a creepy, a creeper I I, inside you who's like, I gotta do gosh, this. Gosh, I, I mean, maybe a creeper is coming <laughs> across on camera. I don't know. Um, no, <laughs> they got, they did not get that. They didn't draw the inspiration from me, okay. like backstage being like, so guess what I did today. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and Emily just debuted on the um, on the prom episode. She debuted her new tattoo. Yeah, I was so excited when it was Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. I thought that was a cool little tattoo. And um, it was funny because I was at Disneyland a couple months ago and uh, or last month and Jack and Sally were out and I got extra excited as if I really had that tattoo. You know, <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. You start to you start to love what your characters love or mm -hmm. it's part of you. So I, I was thinking maybe I should take a picture with them and then post it when the episode airs. But I didn't get a chance. The line was way too long. They were way too popular. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're important. But the tattoo was really cool. It looked yeah. real, and I posted it online, and everybody thinks I really have that gigantic tattoo. And, like, I had people being like, are you okay with that decision that you've made in your <laughs> life? And I'm like, I really, really wanted to comment back, but just thought, if you read the caption, it's, yeah. it's clear that. Have you considered going to get it? The giant Sally tattoo? Yeah, it's a badass tattoo. I mean, tattoo. it's a badass tattoo, but I I wouldn't do that as because I feel like it would be very specific like <laughs> going into auditions like <laughs> there's something interesting about that girl but um <laughs> yeah I mean like I love tattoos and I love people that have them and when they put it on me I was just fantasizing this like sleeve of tattoos you know and of course I would love to do that if I was leading an alternate life right I really do think I'd be covered in tattoos if I was leading an alternate life so if you were leading an alternate life what would you be doing in addition to covering your body in tattoos something with animals animals I'd be just covered in tats and petting dogs, <laughs> giving them homes. Oh, okay. I, don't I know. thought you just like hang out at the shelter. I just yeah, I'd just be the girl hanging out at shelter. Yeah, that'd just be my job if that was a job. No, I mean like when I was a little kid, I would play with my stuffed animals, and I really wanted to be a veterinarian. And yeah. I think every maybe every little girl maybe wants to be a vet at some point. Is that true? What did you want to be when you? I, I don't think I wanted to be a vet. Oh, okay. I was afraid of dogs, so I was I definitely oh okay was afraid. Not afraid of anyone. Not currently. That's no. good. Yeah, I grew out of it. Um, <laughs> all right, let's talk about bones. <laughs> yes, what? Um, so I know that you're you're pulling double duty again, um, and the uh, producers for both shows have said that they're everyone's aware, everyone's clear, and everyone's making an effort to like everyone's making work with it your work. Schedule. Yeah, it's really lucky. They're all that's amazing working together, and they're happy that I'm working on the other show. Like they, they're very supportive, and um, I I now that. Big Bang is on Thursdays. People keep asking me about this. They're like, who are you rooting for? But I'm rooting for both, obviously. And they weren't, before this, they weren't on the same night. And I don't know if I have episodes coming up that are on the same night. Um, so we'll see. That'll be kind of fun if that yeah. happens. What are you going to do? Oh, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Celebrate. <laughs> um, well, let's talk about Jessica Warren. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about her character. Well, she's one of my favorite characters. Whoa. You're she's so one of my excited. You can't even find words. Characters, characters yeah. I've ever gotten to play, honestly. And she's from like m what my family has said and um, some of my friends. Like they, They've really enjoyed seeing this, um, this girl come to life. Uh, my favorite parts about her are just how she's so one step ahead of everything and that's a really big challenge when it comes to memorizing all the lines because it's already difficult learning the medical terminology it's a really fun challenge but then on top of that i have to know it so well that i'm a s step ahead and i'm just blazing through mm -hmm. the information like it's just natural and so I, it's i don't ever feel like myself when i'm doing that like it's so someone else's brain and it's really cool feeling when that happens on the show and I'm loving that I get to meet all the people that I'm working with and work opposite them because they're all so talented in different ways and they've been incredibly welcoming into the family same same over at Big Bang as well um, and I just feel really fortunate for that that's so great yeah <laughs> so you you have boyfriends on both shows or not love anymore. interest. Not anymore on Bones. Oh. They killed my love interest off. That's not a spoiler. That already happened. I'm sorry. Sweets is dead. I'm sorry. That's hard. Rest in peace. Yeah. Yeah. But you had you had two boyfriends. I did. I was there's a little love triangle for yeah. a second there. Yeah. It's fun. Um <laughs> but yeah, I mean, so far it seems like 
um, which is kind of exciting actually on phones that uh, now we're, we're focusing more on the dynamic between Dr. Brennan and Jessica and how different they see things, mm -hmm. but that they both have something valuable to say about it. And they're both right in their own ways. But they have to learn to, from each other. And I think that's an awesome dynamic to yeah. have on the show. Um, when you came into Bones, did you know how long you were staying? No, no. Um, I, and same with Big Bang. When I auditioned for Big Bang, I thought I was just going to be on one episode. I had no idea that I was going to get to come back. Uh, so with Bones, we had a little bit more of an idea because they were introducing a brand new intern. And, mm -hmm. um, but I just didn't know when. And um, so that's been a pleasant surprise to keep being invited back to both and that's have amazing. it work out every time. Amazing. Yeah. Um, I know the 200th episode's coming up and people yes. are super excited. What can you tell us? Ev that everyone should remain <laughs> ecstatic. Okay. You will not be disappointed. Um, I'll put my, what, I'll put, I'll put my bet on that. What, what, what am I trying I to say? I don't know what you're I'm trying just, to say. I feel confident in saying that okay. everyone will be pleased. Everyone's good. Um, it's really fun and I can't believe I got to be a part of it. I was, I, I thought, oh no, you know, they've got a lot of people that, they'll probably want to contact to be involved. And so getting to even do it was amazing. And then it's a concept episode that I'm not sure I can talk about, but uh, it's really it's a really fun one, one that I totally had a fantasy within working within. And um, so it's <laughs> it was a blast. <laughs> and so everyone has to watch it, is what you're saying? Everyone must okay. set their DVRs now. Yeah. Do not miss it, or you will be sorry. Excellent. Uh, but Emily Sweeney will come after you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you also were in a web series on wigs. Yes. Um, what news do we have? Is there going to be a second season? With um, with wigs, I feel like they're, um, I haven't gotten the official word on where they're heading because everything started initially with them on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And they had this whole um, desire to be making, you know, this, um, like, you know, bring in Hollywood to come in to YouTube. And then with that, they um, opened up their episodes on Hulu mm -hmm. as well later, and um, their most successful series were Blue um, and Lauren, and uh, they did second seasons of those, and they did a third season of Blue mm -hmm. that I got to actually be in as oh. my same character. So like, so Vanessa's been Vanessa's now been in three wigs series, <laughs> same character in all of them. She started in Jan as like Jan's. Mm -hmm. roommate and best friend then we did Vanessa and Jan which was speed dating yeah that was crazy for those who haven't seen it go on to YouTube or Hulu and yeah. watch it it's hilarious and crazy and so fun <laughs> I'm glad you liked yeah, it I marathoned that oh that's so cool to hear yeah because yeah, that was a blast to shoot and um getting to meet all the different actors that we worked with it was so quick and um it was it was really a fun little concept being on speed dating like and yeah. getting I don't know I just it was really fun to interact with different vibes of people in each scene and like see what happened with Vanessa when she was either flirting or like totally not interested. Mm -hmm. um, and then yeah, in um, Blue, Eric Stoltz was the love interest for Julia Stiles mm -hmm. in that third season and I play his daughter and it's Vanessa. And so then I got this whole other life yeah. brought to her character that I didn't know when we were filming Jan or Vanessa and Jan. And that's really fun when you just get new news about, oh yeah, by the way, your dad looks like this, this is what he does, this yeah. is your, how you were raised. And because you've developed that all prior to working, like your own story to make it work at the time. But it's always fun when the writers tell you like what they're thinking and what it really is and you gotta make it work. I, I've decided that Wigs is going to become this thing where everything is connected and it's just like they've just said American Horror Story, the first four seasons are all interconnected. Yeah. Wigs is also Yeah, I love that they did that. Because it, it just, you know, it's it's mainly female driven stories mm -hmm. and it's just they're all crossing over and I love they they did that. They, Kendra was in another season and um uh, Virginia Madsen's character from Jan was the mother of, um, at, like, in, what was, Susanna. Um, <laughs> so, the, yeah, I was just all everywhere. Everyone was kind of making a return, playing the same characters. I love that they did that. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And then at the same time I was doing that, I was doing Lizzie Bennet. <laughs> so, I've seriously been doing double duty. Yeah. With different forms. So, when are you doing triple duty? 
<laughs> or when am I going to do double films? Yeah. Wouldn't that be nice? That would be. <laughs> well, I kind of did triple duty this last month when I was on Sleepy Hollow as well. So um, I wasn't sure if I was annoying people by being like, hey, I want another. <laughs> you know, it's like people were like, okay, we got it. Never annoying. You're working. <laughs> Everyone's excited. <laughs> no, it was really, it was a really cool month. And um, especially like being from Oklahoma, none of my my family is in the industry at all. So they're just kind of shocked at the, um, just how the momentum keeps moving forward mm -hmm. and just new pieces of information every day that I call and tell them, I'm like, hey, so this is happening. They're like, oh, okay. And they just have to <laughs> run with it. And um, my mom and grandma just got to be in town this last week and go to a taping with me for Big Bang Theory. Aww. So they got to sit and watch how all of it worked. And they were in the audience at first, and then we brought them down to Video Village. and. It was really fun. It just, it's been, been cool. That's awesome. <laughs> That's so cool. Especially because Big Bang Theory is so hard to get into the audience. Yeah. It is yeah, so yeah, difficult. Yeah, so <laughs> you just snuck got them, them little VIP yeah. access there. <laughs> yeah. The producers had, uh, you know, the producers helped us out. That was really yeah. nice. That's sweet of them. It was really sweet. <laughs> so um, the Big Bang Theory is shot so differently than Bones. With the live audience, yeah. yes. And it is live for the people that are skeptical. Yeah. I keep hearing that people don't believe that it's a live audience. It's like there's so much information to prove that there's a live audience. Yeah, you can get tickets. Of avid fans yeah. at every taping. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about the difference and, and which way you prefer? I don't prefer either one. <laughs> Again, it goes back to like the different challenges mm -hmm. of both. So. Um, with a with a single cam drama, you're shooting your things out of order. So if you had some emotional scene, like you might you might do that your first day. I mean, uh, on this production, on my emotional stuff, they left that for my last day. But like, you may do five scenes in a day, four scenes in a day, and they're all out of order. They're not sequential. And then with multicam on Big Bang Theory, everything's in order, even down to the rehearsals. So we're doing run-throughs every day for producers and network executives and studio execs. And it's all like running a little short play. Mm -hmm. And then when we do the live taping, it's all in order that day. Um, and the challenge there is just um, I come from theater, a uh, theater background. I got my um, BFA at the University of Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. And so I've, I've at least been in front of an audience before doing comedy. And there's this whole holding for laughs thing that I've totally not gotten. You know, I've, since I've been doing more on camera work, yeah. I kind of forgot the art of that, you know, because <laughs> it's just a totally different dynamic. Um, so that's been fun to just get back in the swing of things with that. And that's the challenge there where. Yeah you have to be conscious of people watching you and interact with them in that way of just kind of listening for their response and, and know when to come in for the next line so yeah. that they hear you. <laughs> well, do you ever show up at Bones and you're like, wait, who am I today? Like, who do I need to be? Well, it's really funny because at my Bones audition, because I had been working on Big Bang all week, I think, and I went in for my Bones audition and I think I was being really, um, like my face was moving a lot maybe and I was really <laughs> energetic and like on employment with my face and I'm so grateful to casting for being like great all right let's do it again just you know do less <laughs> and then I told everybody I'm like I'm so sorry I, I've been working on multicam all week so maybe that was it and and so it was really nice that they could see that I could dial it back yeah and, and um not that you're doing that much more there, it's just an energy level difference mm -hmm. and then the fact that like camera picks up so much when it's close to you yeah that you just have to be like I have no idea how I'm coming across on this interview like am I wacky or am I <laughs> you're subtle across, you're coming across <laughs> great I'm sure the fans will agree um I want to talk a little bit about Penny Yes. Um, and the drama. The drama. The unexpected drama. Did you expect it at all? Did any, like, no. Have, did fans think, oh, it would be so cool if there was, like, friction or what? The what? only reason I didn't expect the drama is because I completely forgot that it happened. I think Penny did, too. Yeah. Um, so do you expect the drama to continue? Do you think they'll ever become BFFs? Well, did you happen to notice in the prom episode that we had similar dresses on? I did. I thought that was really funny that we kind of did and like that wasn't a dress, but I think that may have been in like an earlier draft or something that we wore the same dress. Mm. Um, so I think, you know, I, I can't tell. I can't tell where they're going with it because there wasn't any mention of it in that episode because mm -hmm. we weren't really in the same scenes. Um, 
I'm not sure. And I, what I would hope, um, I've said this before, I think it would be really cool if they ended up friends because I think that they're um, two women that would do well in a friendship together. Yeah. Like they're both strong, funny ladies and there's no need to be catty, Yeah, you know? Like I, I think that there's opportunity there for a really awesome friendship. And I love that Emily already gets along with Amy and mm -hmm. and um, Bernadette. So it's time it's time for them to all yeah have the little girlfriend troop. We need. I want to be a part. I want to be a part of the cool we girlfriend need club. The girls to be, <laughs> we need all the girls together, and we need them on the couch. Yeah, that's what we need. That's what we need. More women, more couch. Amy <laughs> sitting in Sheldon's spot, yeah. finally letting her. Aww. Wouldn't that yeah, be nice? That would be nice. It'd be so romantic. <laughs> <laughs> well, what else do we have to look forward to in the future? What can you tell us about? Oh, I, what can I tell you about? I don't know. I, I don't know what I can tell you because there's so much to look forward to. Like all the stuff coming up on these shows is going to be so fun. And I'm still working on both right now. So more stuff's going to be coming out. And um, I, I'm personally looking forward to pilot season and getting to read a bunch of new scripts and seeing what's being made out there. I'm very optimistic that good stuff is coming yeah. out, you know, and I hope to be a part of it too awesome yeah well thank you so much for joining us thanks today. for having me this was great why don't you tell the people at home where they can find you online oh okay Twitter, instagram all that good stuff i will um i am on twitter at it's laura spencer it's kind of a long twitter handle didn't really know that at the time <laughs> so that's i-t-s-l-a-u-r-a-s-p-e-n-c-e-r -E awesome and then same handle for instagram and then i'm also i've got a facebook fan page so just look up laura spencer and you should be able to find it Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. And of course, you can fun. find me online at yell.tv. That's Y A E L.tv. There you'll find info about the beautiful stylings from the Sirens Boudoir and all the Afterbuzz shows I do at Afterbuzz. Of course, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Google Plus at Yell Teagle. That's Y A E L T Y G I E L. Thank you. From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal.